Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to walk you through how you can use my new JD Snowy Winter Trail background and overlay set. So let's just go ahead and grab an image and would work with this background. And what I'm going to do is select the quick selection tool here. And now I'm just going to go around the edges. Obviously, if you have other ways you like to do it, feel free to do it your, your way. But I like to just get a quick selection, and then I like to go and copy it. And then I go right here. This says Add Selection here. I'm going to uh, hide that little eyeball, add a new layer, and I'm going to paste this in. Now, obviously, she's too big. So what I'm going to do, and you see here how there's a, a pocket. You may or may not find this pocket helpful, but it, it sort of allows you to place your figure in the spot. So now we're going to go ahead and size her so that she feels right in this background. So important things to consider are where is she relative to the trees? and how big would she be compared to those trees. So she's five, she's a pretty little girl. So I'm going to say that this would be, and I wanna make sure that I am keep my width and my height the same here in the scaling. I wanna make sure that I'm doing that consistently. And once I'm happy with her relative size against the background, I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Now I can zoom on in and I can create a mask here. And any of the areas that I want to sort of touch up, I can just go on in here and with a soft black brush, I can just clean up my selection here. And there's many ways to do this. If you have a preferred method, by all means do that, but this tends to be a pretty easy way that most people can get a pretty decent selection and just use it. Now, sometimes hair can be an issue. You can always draw in a little hair afterward, um, some wisps to help integrate. I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have any of the background and I keep the opacity at about 50 to 30 percent here and I just sort of keep working any little edges that that look crunchy I'm just gonna go over them and just soften now down here by her feet she's got the remnants of her sled so I'm gonna actually crank this up and just sort of trace the outline of her boots I don't even care about that strap and I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of any of those elements that I didn't was maybe a little bit uh, in too much of a hurry for the first time with my quick selection. So just cleaning that up. Again, I'm going to be doing this really quick because it's just a, a quick demonstration of the product as opposed to a real compositing tutorial. Um, that isn't really the purpose of this, just to help you get going on making your image, not necessarily the finer points of compositing. Okay, so once we've kind of gotten the extraneous background elements removed. We're going to place her maybe about right there and let's zoom out. Okay, that's looking good. Now you don't have to have the fog. You don't have to have the additional snow overlay. You don't even have to have the first snow overlay or the leaves. You can 
do anything you want. You can add tints, you can make it cooler toned, you can do uh, additional retouching on your uh, subject to fit them in better. Uh, if you want, like cool her down or add contrast, etc. Um, basically, whatever you want to do and customize it to how you see fit. I think this final snow overlay layer here works best if you are doing it sort of cinematic movie poster style, like the cover uh, where I have her very large with her back turned. I think those tend to work better, but it's again up to you. And I wouldn't, if I had her here, I wouldn't probably use the big fog if I were just for, let's just say that I had this big image, which obviously I'm not going to, but let's just say that I was doing this. I would get rid of that foreground pocket. I'd have her large. And I wouldn't want to have this optional fog above her, but I would probably want to have this snow overlay to help integrate her into that background a little bit more. And then I would probably want to go into this snow overlay with a soft black brush and get rid of the smaller snow that works better with the background over the top of her. And same thing with the leaves. Get rid of the smaller leaves so that everything makes sense in terms of uh, distance from the camera and uh, size relationships. Also, there is another folder where if you don't have Photoshop, if you have elements, you can go in and you can just grab the background as a JPEG and then adding various elements that you would like by copying and then pasting them in. And I do mention whether which mode it should be. If it says ping, it's just a normal mode. If it says screen, then it works better in a screen mode. And I should change that blending mode to screen. All right, so you have two different ways to set these files up. Hopefully both will be fun and easy for you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.